Thank you, Chris. The presidential election is less than two years away, but President Joe Biden is proposing a shakeup of the Democratic primary calendar, one that could give Michigan a bigger say in picking a potential front runner. He would have South Carolina host the first primary instead of Iowa, followed by Nevada and New Hampshire on the same day. Primaries also would move up for Georgia and Michigan before Super Tuesday. TV5's Lenita Brooks explains why Democrats appear receptive to these changes. The state is a, a reflection, I think, of where the country is headed. A country that Jennifer Austin, chair of the Midland Democratic Party, says won't swing too far left or too far right. With today's vote that could make Michigan one of the first five states in the 2024 presidential primary. It's going to give Michigan voters an opportunity to make a very substantial contribution to who is going to be the Democratic um, nominee. The rulemaking arm of the Democratic National Committee supported the change today. It still needs to go before the DNC as a whole. Some party members agree with the move, saying Michigan is a more diverse state than Iowa and more reflective of the country at large. America's supposed to be, you know, you come in, you work hard, and uh, you benefit, right? But there have been a lot of cases where access to these opportunities have not been afforded to, to certain groups of people, right? And so we want to minimize that gap as well. Michigan certainly fits the bill, and apparently South Carolina is also in the running as well. Retired political science professor Paul Rosicki says the decision may help clear the field sooner at a time of changing demographics. Michigan used to be kind of a guaranteed democratic state, but in the last few elections, it's become a, a so-called purple state where it could go Republican or Democratic. Under the proposed calendar, Michigan presidential primary would take place February 27th. Reporting for WNEM TV5, I'm Lenita Brooks. The DNC is expected to vote on those changes early next year.